This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. It is 6.53. Let's jumpstart your Friday with the news you need to get your morning going in the morning sprints. Yeah, Sydney Charles has details on what Norfolk Southern says could have caused one of the Ohio train derailments. And today is a weather alert day. Destiny Richards is live and looking at roads. And Mark is telling us how much snow we can actually expect this morning, Mark. All right, we're looking right now with the first alert weather and again, some of those forecasting radars to see that one to three inches of snow for the commute and for totality when it comes to Spokane. It's all of the inland northwest receiving snow. There's no doubt about that. As we look at the Doppler radar, yeah, it's busy. There's no doubt. So take it easy. Allow for plenty of time. Again, Destiny Richards a full update, but we see the heavier snow starting to move in. As we look at the next 12 hours, the opportunity for snow really through noon and then afternoon snow bands coming through the area and then overnight things should dry out and cool. Right now we've been looking at the roads and we are on State Route 290, which is Trent Avenue headed west towards Spokane. And right now we are seeing snow showers pretty much widespread across the area. It is affecting visibility now as we get closer to Spokane. So just be aware of that if you're commuting this morning. And this snow came in a little bit late. Good idea to have that first alert weather app with you, not only to see the timing of the snowfall that we're getting today, but also to open the radar tool and see where it is falling. We'll continue to give you an update on the roads during GMA. It's pretty handy, that's for sure. A former Idaho legislative intern who was raped by a lawmaker is suing that man and another lawmaker in federal court. Aaron Von Ellinger, who was pictured there, was convicted of raping that young woman and sentenced to 20 years in prison. The accuser also said Von Ellinger defamed her in comments about the case. On Wednesday, she filed a lawsuit in federal court, which also names current Idaho representative Priscilla Giddings. She claims Giddings shared her identity and called her names like honey trap. Some teachers at the Central Valley School District could soon be out of a job. During a union meeting yesterday, about 90 staff members were told that their teaching contracts might not be renewed. In 2024, school districts across the country will lose their COVID relief funding. Lower enrollment and less funding means the district will have to make some changes before next school year. Any potential layoffs will be finalized by April 1st. We want to remind families in Coeur d'Alene you have until Tuesday to cast your vote on two school levies. One is for safety and maintenance projects that would cost $25 million over five years. The other would be a forever $25 million supplemental levy. If both pass, it would cost taxpayers who own a $500,000 home about $138 a year. Police now say former NBA star Sean Kemp acted in self-defense when he fired his gun in a Tacoma parking lot. The former Sonic was trying to recover his cell phone that had been stolen. Kemp was arrested Wednesday by Tacoma police for an investigation into a drive-by shooting. He was released yesterday with no charges filed and the Pierce County Prosecutor's Office says it is not likely charges will be coming against Kemp. The jobs report out this morning said America's employers added 311,000 jobs in February. That number is lower than January, but still enough to keep pressure on the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates aggressively to help fight inflation. And new details are surfacing about the train derailment that happened in Springfield, Ohio. Norfolk Southern has now confirmed that loose wheels on a series of rail cars could have caused that derailment. During cleanup of the March 4th wreck, the company found that a specific model and series of rail cars had loose wheels. This is under investigation, but Norfolk Southern said it immediately reported its findings to the National Transportation Safety Board and the Federal Railroad Administration. The cars will be removed from service until their wheel sets can be replaced and fully inspected. Today, German police are investigating the shooting deaths of eight people inside a Jehovah's Witness church. The mass shooting happened at the Kingdom Hall in the northern German city of Hamburg. Police say one of the dead is the shooter. Investigators say it happened right after a religious service. Grocery bills remain high, even though the cost to put food on the shelves has declined. So why aren't they passing along the savings? It may be because they have other expenses that remain higher, things like labor and transportation. But critics say now the companies see that people will pay higher prices. There are no rush to give up profits and charge less. 
All right, coming up next on Good Morning America, it's the final countdown to the Oscars. Catch a sneak peek behind the scenes with the producers and what to expect from the big show. And remember, you can catch the Oscars right here on 4 News Now this Sunday at 5. And be sure to catch a special edition of 4 News Now at 3 o'clock. We will be back with the final check of weather this morning. Well, at least with this hour coming up right after this break.